Um, oh, damn. All right. Hmm. Technically, killer clowns from outer space. Fuck. Welcome back, terrestrials. Killer clowns from outer space. So yes. So that's our top alien movie. Yes, they're clowns, but technically they're aliens. So fuck you. Yes, they're from outer space. Yes. So. All right, let's talk about it. How did you enjoy it? I fucking loved it. Every yeah. time I watch it, I notice something else. It's one of the, and it's not even like, oh, cool story plot. Oh, mm-hmm. foreshadowing. It's like the creativity. Mm-hmm. I noticed more creative things about it. I'm just like, wow, that was like, how much Coke were these guys on? Like, <laughs> yeah, these ideas are just it's weird how much effort they put into movies back then that's why those (laughs) movies are so good yeah like you look at this movie and like every single nose that pops on the clown has a different substance in it yeah yeah and also like like this feels like a board meeting and like in the bit like what can these things these clowns do and then just everybody just like oh do they can do this and they can do that because there's like the whole movie is just the clowns fucking up people's days yeah and then that's like that yeah that's the effort that i'm talking about right like it's it's there's so much effort put into this movie correct and in its creativity and in its art like the design of the aliens and everything um so and yeah. <laughs> and yeah like uh with the the girlfriend with the popcorn the sheriff has the whole amazing scene at the jail mm. um you know there are these small moments with each one uh and i think that really does build up for that final fun house moment you know yeah i think that the way that all of the clowns terrorize the town yeah is some of the best moments of the movie along mm-hmm. with the sheriff dealing with like that dumb old sheriff like answering all the phone calls having yeah. an alien or a clown walk into his you know sheriff's office and like that all that stuff is what makes the movie so good and then the creativity within it yes but what is your favorite bit in the movie it's that it's like where young sheriff young cop comes into that police department and like he's going through and he notices that the two punk kids that got arrested for drinking wine in the park um are now cotton candy he goes back out and he sees old sheriff old cop Mm -hmm. fucking as the ventriloquist that is fucking creepy as hell yeah it is like that's very creepy yeah it's so amazing Mm -hmm. um that probably is my like that one moment you know for me that or the whole thing with the old man um (laughs) the dog and shit i don't know something about that old guy fucking just like kept geeking me out when i watched it but um yeah everything in that sheriff's office uh is perfect even like you know yeah when he's answering the phones and everybody's like, there's clowns. Ha. Bite me. You know, he's just mm. like insulting fucking people. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. 911 is a joke in this town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that, that just, that's good filmmaking. That, yeah. especially because if you like watch this movie, nothing in this movie is truly gory. Mm. You know, this is like a, a very, I'm not going to say weak. I'm going to say mild horror movie. Mm -hmm. Nothing really extreme, you know, in this movie. But for some reason, that scene does embody like just odd, eerie. It has blood, just a little bit of blood. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, the the only time you really see blood in this movie is where like they peel the cotton candy back. But because Mm -hmm. the cotton candy is pink and the blood is like not dark, dark red. Yeah, it it just looks like cotton candy juice, you know. Well, so I mean, I definitely get like that. 
I'm on the other side of that because when I see that, I'm like, damn, that's super gory looking to me. Do you? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. When I was watching it, I was like, it looks almost like too pink. And I was wondering if it's because of the contrast of, you know, this pink cotton candy thing to the, the red goo and it looked more pink t- to me, you know, it could have been just my viewing, you know, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it is, it could have been that it could, I, I don't know. I, to me, when I watch it, I go, Ugh, like that right. they did good, but, but there's also, so, there's like, also technically the same thing with when the little guy boxes and hits the head off the biker guy. Like right. that same, there's that same bit of like gore, but no blood kind of thing. Like it's, it's showing you the inside of his neck and his headless body. Yeah. But there's no blood. It's just like what, like red on the inside or whatever. And, and even like, it's almost cartoonish. Like a lot, a lot of the stuff is more cartoony you know they're not butchering people a la jason and freddy right they're just you know preserving them for the long journey home i guess you yeah know? i mean well they're basically like capri sons yeah and uh, yeah i just i was looking i was like what is this rated it's pg-13 mm-hmm. yeah like it you could re-edit this movie and make it like a fucking hard r mm-hmm. you know but I think it works better as a PG-13 movie, you know, um, yeah. you know, we, we get a trope, we get the shower scene of like vulnerability, mm-hmm. you know, any shower scene is supposed to be, you know, you're vulnerable to any attack. Yeah. The, I, I think that like this movie really feels like red Dawn almost to me. Yeah. Like the idea of like an invasion wreaking havoc on the town and then there's le- there's like this scraggly bunch left to like fight to to right to save the town essentially right and they do it in that style of manner like the invasion and then somebody you know i i don't know i think that i think that the way the movie was written was very unhorror like i feel like it was laid out more like an action movie Mm-hmm. because there's these tasks uh, that this blonde kid has to do while this invasion is happening he's trying to save this girl save other people get his buddies with the ice cream truck like right. th- he's he's on like missions like these side quests to end up fighting the final boss right. and that feels very action movie to me but then they layered like the horror over top of it and it mm-hmm. really worked to make a very entertaining movie. Right. Entertaining movie is like, yeah, that's that's the perfect way. Because I mean, like, there's like comedy, there's like horror, there's action, yeah. you know, there's, there's like all this stuff thrown in there to kind of like mix match this into like, in my opinion, like the perfect Showtime movie. Like uh, th- back when... I remember Showtime. I remember this always being on, mm-hmm. on Showtime. And for some reason, every time I watch it, like I get the taste of Showtime in my mouth. Like it's just like it's like yeah, this is a sorry. Showtime movie. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, okay. you don't have to be. Um, but, but yeah, it's just everything. Everything the fucking movie. You know, like we found another one. It's everything, and it does come out, and it doesn't feel muddy no like you know the horror elements are very horror horry ish the the action uh fucking like they're not over like action you know like you know like they're not shooting up the fucking like yeah tent with like right, bazookas right. and shit right they're just using what they have right you yeah. know bubble guns and shit like that which right. is again the creativeness of the movie but yes. it makes it so much more fun like if they would have come in with alien blasters and like you know what i mean like Damn, it, yeah. it wouldn't that's not what you want from this yeah they're, they're they are alien blasters and stuff but right but i'm talking like not... star wars style blasters right. like fifth element type shit not correct 
Fucking Correct. bubble guns and fucking cotton candy guns and shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. The, the 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 unpredictability of what is this going to be a balloon or is this going to be cotton candy? I don't know. Just shoot it. <laughs> I think. Um, um, I think one of the best scenes in the movie is um, when the fat clown walks up to the burger joint and the kid, like he lures the kid out because it's such a creepy scene yes and we don't and you don't even get the payoff of him like getting her he yeah. just like and you see his reactions very much like mm, and just like moves on and also nobody notices this giant fucking clown like right it's very it, like, like yeah, that, that's just normal just, like these yeah, mom and, right yeah. like this place has gone really downhill in the last couple of years or whatever they're sitting there talking yeah, about and yeah. it's like that, that does anybody notice the clown yeah, yeah. but yeah I, it was a really good scene it was a very tense scene and right. a creepy scene and i i thought it like just fit the menacingness of the aliens and mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. very well Another thing that uh, I started noticing on this watch around that I've never really noticed is like trying to take tallies of how many fucking clowns there were because yeah. there was a ton um, yeah. because like, yeah, the, the, the mold of the mask that they had, they had like three, maybe four masks, right? But they would just like, okay, put this wig on that one and then put him in this clothes, you know, yeah. and it's the same just thing they did with gremlins. Right, they just kept inner and and there's actually like a ton of fucking clowns in this one. Yeah, well, I mean, there's because of Spirit Halloween, they sell like those three masks. Right, they sell those three life size ones on the advertisements of the movies. You see one to three clowns mm -hmm. on the cover, right. or maybe four because the little one or whatever. But that's all you see, so that's all you remember. And then I did the same thing when I was watching. I was like, there's like. 15 clowns right holy shit and that, that's not even counting the ones that were wreaking havoc on the town that's right. just the homeboys in the ship and i was like holy fucking shit i did not remember there being this many clowns that's crazy yeah. like when the parade the clown parade where yeah. they're like getting the cotton candy people and you know yeah. like there there are like i said they all have like the same type of mask but it's right. like okay put the wig on that one put this one in that clothes like and like it's a brand new clown the only clowns that i know because they do share i was gonna say the two female clowns but they do share the same face as like the little clown you know and you know things like that so yeah. but I was thinking that they might be different, but no, it's literally three masks and whatever props they could find. Yeah. For them, it's just so. like, it's just like gremlins. Like you just put 3d glasses on one to give it a weird personality and you right. put a raincoat on this one. And you, like, it's the same right. thing, but just with clown style effects. Yeah. It makes you, cause you can't literally have like hundreds of these things, you know, with extras walking around. So you get like four, five, maybe seven, dudes in these clown costumes and you just keep swapping them in and out you know it worked i mean it, it works it felt like there was a ton of um it felt like there was a ton of clowns so right, I, right. It, again that just creativeness right like did you find any problems in this movie jacob um no i was very i was very I was in love with watching that and how creative all the ideas were. Awesome. You have some problems with it. I have small, like little, like what the fuck moments, uh, more questions. Okay. Let's not complaints. I really like this movie. Yeah. But just like questions was like, okay. Like at the end, uh, -huh. Uh, of fucking spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the two in the ice cream van, mm -hmm. they die, but then they don't die, and it's just like that seems like a, oh, we were we hid in the fucking ice cream coolers. Uh, coolers. It's like yeah. yeah, that would turn into they a also blew oven. up though. <laughs> yeah, the fucking thing. I, I saw it, you know, like and then like the sheriff the same thing like 
I saw that fucking explosion. You would have had no time to kind of get out of that fucking tent. The brothers is a little ridiculous. Like, right. Another thing is. So this is like a okay. one star movie for you. Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a one star. <laughs> um, Like. So they basically have the whole town, half the towns in like cotton candy cocoons. And we have established that those people in cotton candy cocoons, they're basically dead. Mm -hmm. But we've established also that the people in the balloons and we see multiple balloons, the Mm -hmm. big balloons around there. Those people are alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come nobody saved anybody? It was very selfish (laughs) that they didn't help anybody else. And it, you could say that back to the clown with the shadow puppets. Like, this dude knows that those clowns kill people. And, and he, was he like, no watches, way. yeah, here, <laughs> guy, guy, let's watch this murder yeah. real quick of six people. There's there's flaws in the movie, but yeah. don't but don't look at them. No, 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 I'm not I'm not looking at them. I'm just I'm just talking. Another thing I was thinking, this isn't a gripe, but I was like, okay, these are clown aliens Mm -hmm. no are they alien clowns like like it it was like ghost pirates and we all perceive pirate ghosts to be real when actually they were just cotton swabs the gang and i wrote a song about it and it goes a little something like this and a one and a two and a like no they're clowns the clowns but by classification they're aliens because they're not of planet earth right so, but they're not but they're clowns. aliens that are like picked up the signal and was like yeah this is what clowns are it's like yeah we'll go there you know in disguise no. as clowns no they're Ugh. just clowns that's okay. a race of aliens as okay. far as this movie that's to me like a right. lot like that that's just a class of alien that's out there okay, okay. yep but you got anything uh, else on this movie, Jacob? Uh, no, I don't. Are I don't you sure? Think, I don't think we have anything on this movie based on everything that we've said here. So I think we do. Awesome. I mean, what else have we missed? I don't know. You watch this movie for like, like just that camp, that crazy camp yeah. of this movie. Like yeah. somebody, like you said, was on cocaine mm-hmm. when they were like, all right, guys, <laughs> got it. You know, let's make a movie. Killer you had me at movie. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to do a Trinity or you got anything yeah. else? You want to talk about your uh, Mandela effect on it? You got- yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Real quick. So I've watched this movie a billion times, a, a lot as I was younger. I swear that there was a different ending to this movie. Mm-hmm. Checked with Jerry, who has also seen this movie a billion times. He's saying there is no alternate ending to this movie if you are out there and you happen to still be listening please help me because what i remember is this movie ended up at a house and out front the ice cream bros drove the truck into a like jumped out of the truck and it hit a ramp and hit a very massive clown in the nose so that like the truck was the size of the nose and the the clown was just way bigger apparently that's not how this movie ends i don't know where that ending came from it sounds awesome i hope that it's real and that i see it again but (laughs) apparently it is not true so i don't know where that came from but killer thrill it oh it's thrilling i love this movie Yes, it is thrilling. It is a thrilling movie. And uh, uh, the cult classic. Uh, yeah, fucking, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's when you say cult classic, this is what you're talking this is, about. Yeah, this is like the first, the first in line, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger as more people like understand. Like they yeah. they go, this is a bad movie, like a a funny bad movie. Mm-hmm kind of like uh killer comes from outer space weird title weird you know this no 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 this is this is an amazing movie you know so yeah yeah, it's it's i think i think a lot of people look at it as both like that silly ha ha ha, like clown dumb horror movie but also a lot of people look at like we do like how amazing is this movie right right um all right what's next what do we do uh, would you go see it in the theater jacob hell fucking yeah I would. would you? this would yeah this would be fun as shit to see you on a huge screen. i don't 
I, I like it on the small screen. I really enjoy it on the small screen because that's just how it's always been. You said and that about I, They Live, though. Yeah, true. But like, it just feels like a small screen movie. So no, I'm going to go. Me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. No, nah, I'm going to skip the theaters. Give it a star, Jacob. Five. It's five. Fuck you. It's five. Yes, it's a five star movie. Yeah. Um, if yeah, you, it's if any it's of just, you out there say under five stars, fuck you. Right. I don't think they like if anybody was like, well, you're you're not getting the point. You're supposed to just sit back and realize. I right. mean, even that shit that I was talking about earlier. Right. Did it affect my movie going experience? Fuck no. These right. just things that you notice because this is what we do. Right. You just notice things like that. Um, fucking great. Yeah, it's a great movie. That's all there is to it. So. <laughs>